Hello, this is Soul Oracle. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a very special topic connecting to the Divine Hummingbird. This was a topic from a few weeks ago, which was in a poll that I gave you to choose from. <laughs> so I decided it was time to introduce this topic now. So, um, the Divine Hummingbird represents tenacity joy, happiness, and even expression in the sense of going out there, getting what they need, what they want, and simply living in harmony, cleansing, detoxifying. I feel it's a very special meaning and a very special word. Okay, so we have three images to choose from. Uh, choose your pile, choose your group, um, choose your image, or by the numbers and the timestamps, and I'll see you at your reading. Hey, group one, pile one, you chose this image, or you chose this pile by the timestamps, or however you've picked. I would just lay them out and then I'll come back and I wanted to say something but I don't know what so when I was sorting the cards out I heard let yourself be free set yourself free set your heart free we're surrounded by many energies right now but it's like our hearts are the most important in this pile and I will start with the hummingbird deck so it's um, Hummingbird Wisdom, it's called. So we got Heart Song. Your heart is opening and singing of sweet unconditional love. Join in the dance of romance that is swirling around you. Open your wings and let love in. Heart. Hearts a flutter right and then we got you know which way to fly natural instincts so you've got a great intuition let me just focus that so you've got a great intuition you might be a night bird I don't know what that means but I guess like an owl a, a, a night owl basically you could be that um, you could be there during the day you just like to do minimal things. This could be only for some. Take what resonates. Uh, remember, this is a group reading. If it doesn't resonate, just it's okay to move on. Um, also, it's nighttime right now when I'm filming, but I felt like I had to film now. And um, yeah. Okay, so definitely about the heart. So I didn't even look at the cards and immediately, immediately I felt there was something about the heart. It's okay to heal your heart. It's like being playful here. So with the second card, with joining the dance of romance, it's like opening your wings and... Allowing yourself to have fun. I see someone dancing like, um, what are the names for, for those type of dances? Like, ah, oh, those very, um, choreographed dances. Oh, what, what are their names? Jesus. Um, okay. I can't really remember, but it's where they have these, um, amazing dance, uh, costumes, like the nice sparkly dresses. And the way they dance is very rhythmic. I don't know if it's cha-cha-cha or something else. Uh, something like... It's really amazing. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. But something like with dance, dancing. Uh, finding friends through dancing. Going to dance classes. Like... <laughs> if I don't know. I heard somebody going to the mall. 
And it's funny because we also had, we have the owl there, so night owl, uh, big surprise. <laughs> and also playing music, heart song as well. In in your you're you're opening your heart here, or you're learning to open your heart here through music, through singing, and it's kind of like this music or this creation, this music you're doing or this dancing you're doing, it's opening your heart to unconditional love, and it's really taking out of you out of your comfort zone. You're becoming this dragon. So we have the dragon dragon cards right there, right? We got the self gathering your power, challenge standing up for your rights, enlightenment moving forward. Okay, so yes, you're moving forward towards something. No, you're moving forward. It's like with your mindset, with like your beliefs, your your perspectives. It's like this lady's looking back and it's like somebody has got my back and I'm not looking. I'm not going to look back. I won't be looking back. Like you're using every resource you have to not only connect to beyond the human, like the divine. Maybe you like... um magical creatures such as dragons, mermaids, or um, what was that fire creature? Jesus. No, a uh, hellhound? No, it's like something made of fire. Anyways, yeah. For some, for some, you're retreating back to gather your power. And someone here is standing up for their rights, standing up, speaking up for themselves. Not like a victim, not like, oh, you need to cater to me, you need to pay attention to me. No, like somebody that is so honorable and has a lot of wisdom. You're just standing up and you're facing these demons, I guess, or these people that seem like demons or evil but i feel like the facade of these people like the veil this the veil of smoke will soon fall but with the gathering of your power you're soon uh needing to rest and i'm just hearing a wonderful well a wonderful thing that's going to happen for you is Achieving the al alignment or enlightenment that you so wished for. So it's with believing your dreams. Oh, so we got the en enlightenment right there with moving forward. Yes. So I feel like you're moving to a more spiritual path. And you're not... Um, re no, you're not taking any BS from people. It's like a roaring dragon, right? Okay, so whatever dreams you have, but I feel like it's very much related to music, dancing, collaborating with people, could be projects, could be on TV, but I feel that you know the way, you're looking at yourself now, you're looking in the mirror and you're seeing someone completely new, you have great intuition, did I say that? You have great intuition. And you're listening to your heart right now and doing the work. And you're really welcoming this transformation. And it's like if <laughs> if the hummingbirds had hands, they would applaud you. But if ever you would like to connect to them, I'm not sure if there's any meditations out there with hummingbirds, but just try and set an intention and meditate. And just call forward the hummingbird and try to connect with it. See, see what's going to happen, what's going to come up for you. And I feel like it's going to be a great experience for you. Then we got grace and purification. Something you faced recently, you've done it with grace. 
and you have every right these people off, right? I was getting a bit <laughs> heated there. You, I feel like you're also a warrior of light, but you have such inner peace. Even though sometimes things may come up and kind of bother you, just know it's not you. It's not that you're not in alignment or you don't you don't have a high vibration. It's that people sometimes choose to be nasty or are bullies, and you really don't have to stand up for it. With purification, it's like you transmute this energy. And even though they do all this to you. Uh, okay, this is getting a little bit personal here. Okay. A little bit personal. Okay. is it... Just let me just... Okay. Getting a little bit personal. Because someone was trying to be like cocky towards you. And you were like, no, inner peace. I'm just going to look inward and just going to face inward. Facing inward is also another message that's coming up. But you're definitely cleansing everything and everyone around you with such grace. I feel that it's so powerful. I applaud you for it. Now that you need it, you don't need it. Um, but yeah, I don't like injustice either. I don't like bullying. I don't like people like this. So I will cut them off real quick. And they think just because I say a few words that <laughs> they got away with it or that they're allowed to say all these things because they think they got a right to their opinion. Sure, people got a right to their opinion. <laughs> If it's well informed, but if it's something like harming others, then that's straight up harassing, harassment, damn. I, so yeah, so we got energy and Lydia. Okay, yes, so whatever happened, we're transmuting this right now. So I'm just like moving my hands, like transmuting. I'm just like doing like energetic things. <laughs> Like transmuting this and letting go and healing and I'm also healing with you so like let's let go of this find our inner peace okay I feel like daydreaming and believing in our dreams brings this infinite knowledge like infinite happiness and abundance when we concentrate on these daydreams that make us feel good about our goals and dreams and desires it's like we're creating whole new worlds and this this new world that is coming up for you specifically it's like I see more nature more light like a heaven on earth I see like a sanctuary being created created for you right here I'm really proud of you. I know um, times are very crazy right now. But I'm really cheering for you. And I, I do see everything working out for you so beautifully. I, I, I see you ecstatic. I see you in uh, energy of exhilaration. It's like time is not running out anymore. You're starting to do things for yourself. And it feels so good. And I probably you, you, you're hearing the music um, in the background. I decided to put music again just so can, I can relax. And right now, through this reading, I'm also relaxing and releasing stuff. Uh, it gives me joy to give you these messages. So I hope they really serve you. And yes like you i will pay less attention to people who try to get to us right they want our attention but they'll probably starve because we're just gonna focus on our dreams here Th this is what it feels like okay um can you see everything 
Um, okay, so we got positive intention. Exactly. So I think I just mentioned without even looking here. I feel like, okay, so we got unicorns and harvest. I feel like harvest abundance. Whatever you create. So right now, if you believed you, the unicorns are real. So if you had enough power, <laughs> like you would allow yourself in some form or way, you would have created this creature, unicorn in front of you, like you would have mani manifested it in front of you, right? Could be that you have signs that when you see unicorns or some type of bird, it's like a message for you from your spirit guides, something with a dragon, but something with fire, something with fire here, a sword and a fire, but also like this lady right here made of fire. You could be a Sagittarius or you could be any fire sign, Leo as well. Yeah. Um, anything you want to see in front of you now is very much possible because I, I see you willing to let go and just willing to go with the flow. It's like a very beautiful flow. These are very beautiful messages right here. It's like you're looking in, in the mirror and you're seeing your beauty finally. Like, it's so amazing to see people finally see their worth and beauty. And it's like you're shining, you have diamonds, you're, like, you're sparkling. It's like, I see some type of sparkly dress. Maybe you're going somewhere and I see some type of jewelry. In this fancy place, fancy dinner somewhere. At nighttime, maybe you're going on a date. Maybe you're opening yourself up um, to romance. And it's like, wow, finally, I have this inner peace. And with that, with that inner beauty and inner peace, I finally attracted this soulmate or this partner that is willing to be here for me and just listen, understand, you know, all these things that you wish for. Um, okay, so they're saying, make sure you're this, per this person first, but I feel like this is what you're working on. You being this person that you want first, and then this is where you're attracting. It's like a very successful thing. Like you don't need to worry about your skills and manifestation power. It's just like when you're letting go right now, you're going to, with the flow again. I'm repeating because <laughs> this this is what channeling is. Uh, if they're if they're repeating messages, then I have to repeat them as well until somebody confirms or. And since this is a general reading, uh, I have to keep. Sometimes I keep. I keep. I have. <laughs> damn. I. Someone is stuttering here when they see you. Like you're so gorgeous that when they see you, they're like. Wow, you're stunning. You're like beautiful. <laughs> They're like, they just took over. Like, girl, like, girl, I'm gonna take over. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a challenge. Um, also, you don't need them to stand up for you, but they will stand up for you. That's really, that's really, really cute. Okay, so we got the seagull, emu, and falcon. Okay, hold on. I also heard an inheritance, a house inheritance, money inheritance, like a, an income inherited. I don't know what that means. I don't know the legal terms of that. But now is the time for deep emotional healing. Yes. So with the purification. Purification. Oh, God. I just saw something in front of my eyes. <laughs> uh, um, okay. So angels are here with you to help you heal um i saw a light in front of my eyes and yeah okay you're really deeply healing emotionally and that's so beautiful i'm really so happy for you i i really really am okay with the emo this is a good time to go on a new adventure 
Yes, so definitely traveling. So traveling. More like somebody's taking you somewhere. Like I said, with the date night, maybe they're taking you on an expensive trip. So get used to that. Get, get used to having um, expensive trips paid for. Um, it's nice to expect them for sure. It's nice to have them. Just make sure you're respecting the other person too. I mean, I don't. I think I don't need to tell you that. You you already know that. I feel like this is one of your ways. Hey, if they're respecting me, like if they're giving me all this, then I want to show them the purity of my appreciation in my heart. That doesn't mean that you have to buy them a house back. I mean, if you want to, sure you could. Um, but it's like you're really appreciating everything they're giving you. So yeah, be ready for that. Mm. Be ready for more flow, for more energetic release. Yes, a lot of releasing here in the month of April. A lot of things are being let go because it's important. I know I'm just like picking up on every message that needs to be out there. You have a heart of gold, so your your heart is full of gold. Um, it's so precious. So we we're talking about the adventure. There's something you you'll be invited to, like a horse race or something really fancy that you were like, oh, I want to experience this, and you're looking really classy, like looking like a rich person, but you're not only looking rich on the outside but you're rich on the inside too like a very spiritually rich and very energetically rich okay so with the falcon act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation equivocation damn um again with the stuttering okay somebody here sees you as such a spiritual a wonderful spiritual being like they're amazed at what you can do and how connected you are and damn they're just somebody here it's like a boss or a job or something is being offered to you and you're taking it it's like you're high on top you're getting the best job like could be the best clothes the best car and it's like, yeah, I know they're they're just things, but I want to enjoy them. Like, what were things made for if they weren't made to if they weren't made to be enjoyed, right? It's like you know, you know the difference with, between being um, a material person and just enjoying things, and being a spiritual person and just being to flow. With the spiritual it's like you have a balance but you need to recharge your batteries 333 yes a lot of recharging that needs to be done especially with your power here tarot reader psychic intuitive you have um, some sort of um, psychic like Clairaudience or clairvoyance, clair cognizant, was it? Mm. Connecting to the earth, like connecting to the energy of the earth, like with the electricity in the earth, the electrons, the pho photons, like being able to communicate with nature, being very, very connected. Wow, so I think this is it because you're, you're like acting on the opportunities coming your way. You're, you're literally not stopping yourself anymore and not holding back and you're very supported. Okay, so I think that's it. These are the messages. They are very full of light. I enjoyed them very much. I enjoyed doing your reading. 
Uh, is that it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching. If you would like to support me, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps the algorithm. It helps my channel. Anything that you need to know is in the description. And I don't know. I'll be back soon, I guess. If I don't take a break. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching and bye. Okay. Group 2. How you doing? <laughs> this is your image. Welcome. So as soon as I picked up your pile. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay. So there's nothing else for you to do. You're doing good. You're doing good. That's, that's the message I was picking up on. You're doing good. Okay. So I'll lay them out and come back with your reading. So, as I was laying them out, I got that um, you're getting the resources you need and there's a peace in your heart. You're taking flight to something, to somewhere. I see an airplane, just something white. Something to do with an airplane and white. Okay, so let's start um, with the hummingbird wisdom cards. As the breezes grow colder, it is time for a change, migrating into new territory, moving somewhere into a warmer um, country or place. Gentle messages of love and support are drifting your way from loved ones and angels. Feathers from heaven. Maybe you receive feathers as a sign on the street or just like falling. It looks like they're falling from the sky. We got flow and stillness. Meditation is the key to filling up with the joyous nectar of life. Yes. Are you meditating? I feel like it's helping you a lot. Let me... Okay, focus. You're moving to a better place, into a place of stillness, especially in your heart. That's why I said there's a peace in your heart and you're getting the resources you need. And it's like you're focusing on receiving these resources, as in you're focusing on um, receiving the best, okay? Um... So gentle messages of love and support are drifting you away from loved ones and angels. Do you have um, vivid dreams? It's like some very vivid dreams with so many signs in them. Maybe even to different dimensions. You're traveling to different dimensions and it's like, damn, what was that dream last night? Like, why was that... Why was that so real? Why did it feel so real? It felt like I was in another body or something like that. It feels like that, really. Um, okay, so with the resources. You've been waiting for something to show up. And with the bliss cherishing the day, I feel like when you do find that stillness and quiet, it's like when cherishing the day cherishing um whatever you have right now like for example you have cereal and you really love this cereal and it's like your favorite cereal <laughs> it's like something golden with a golden spoon or like honey or syrup syrup on pancakes it's like this image of Purely enjoying your day, enjoying the sunset, the sunrise, swimming. Okay, let me just give you a close up of this. See this dragon is swimming with this mermaid. How are you doing? Wow, do you enjoy swimming? Because it feels like going with the flow, like learning to swim in the ocean. Like you've 
went through really turbulent times and it's like now you found some type of happiness and you're able to swim better and then we got the culmination completion and renewal right there let me just give you a close-up I guess wow it's like With this renewal, it's like I see somebody just being stern, just being like moving forward. Like, I see this person keep walking. Like, does that make sense? They're not stopping. It's like a bulldozer like a tank like you're not gonna stop me get out of my way um okay tonight there will be no singing because yeah <laughs> but there's definitely a lot of gratitude in your heart right here okay a lot of playfulness Your inner child is coming to the surface. Like, uh, your child self is asking you to enjoy life. And kind of see the gratitude in your life. Like, cherishing things. Being in tune with all the signs. Like, seeing all the signs. I feel like you receive a lot of synchronicity. I heard 6-6. Six, six. I swear to God, last night I just dreamt the number six. It was so strange. It was so damn strange. They're so vivid. I don't even know what to tell you, man. Okay. One of your qualities being noble or being playful, connecting to people. Maybe connecting to children. Maybe children like you very much. <laughs> There's a lot of inner happiness. But definitely you're receiving a lot of signs and synchronicity. So we got the unicorn, wolverine, ladybug, mountain goat. So, with the unicorn. It's very magical. Especially right now, like the unicorn min means... In these times, it's like something to believe to believe in, something to look forward to, something to see happiness in. Indulge your creative, imagine imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. I see painting. I see drawing. I see anime. I don't know what that's about. Maybe drawing anime, or maybe drawing. Um, like your own webtoon or uh, something with the hair, hairdresser, or maybe doing hair, doing somebody's hair, doing somebody's makeup, somebody's nails, or you're doing these things for yourself. Hair, makeup, nails, dressing yourself up. It's like you're doing certain things that you did as a child that made you feel like a princess that made you feel fully alive and no authority telling you what to do so like with that card i know it's culmination but with that card in particular i feel like there's some sort of authority that just has stopped you from enjoying certain things Free yourself from them. This is just for like a one, two people, one, two persons. Um, what are you indulging in that kind of gives you this flowing feeling in your heart, like in your soul? You're feeling, you're feeling this in in your soul. Damn. 
Yeah. So in the book for the culmination card, it says it is done. Indulge in a job well done and great battle won as you restore and renew yourself for your next bold move. You have completed a great task. You have conquered. You saw all there was to see. And now it is time to sit back and be restored. Renew and heal. Rest and regroup. Kudos on a job well done. So, all this has led up to this point, and now the time has come for you to truly hone your power and own it. You, you were meant to be, to face the world head on, as you, still, as you stand firm in this new being that you've discovered yourself. Or that you remember mostly. I feel that you're remembering who you are. And it's a very powerful being. And it's okay to look forward to being powerful. It's just like taking on the world. Not being hurt by it anymore. You're a lot tougher than you think you are, Wolverine. Well, if you know the character Wolverine... So what was his name? Logan. Logan. That's it. Um, Logan went to into a transformation that was kind of very painful. So he still had his claws that came uh, came through his knuckles, but he had this healing ability as well, and he didn't age one bit. But when he went into this experiment, he, his skeleton was kind of filled with adamantium and basically became indestructible. So it's like maybe you don't age, maybe you have a very young face, maybe you look very young, youthful. But you also have been through a lot and it's like you went through painful transformation and now you came up on top and now you're able to stay here and just not just feel thankful but like feel at peace like saying this work needed to be done and I've done it it's like thanking yourself for doing all this I think it's important to do that to thank ourselves for doing all this work when if there was another person, they, they would have completely ignored it. Not everybody can do this work. It, it's fine. It's, it's not... Nobody's blaming them. Not, not everybody can withstand this. But you, you did. And you're, very, you're a very strong person. I hope these messages relate to you. By the way, if I didn't mention... It's nighttime, I'm listening to some music in the background. It's like we're relaxing, sitting on the floor again. Because this is what needed. This is what's needed. So um, I hope you're able to sit and relax too. And really enjoy like this moment right now. Like feeling, being... Okay, so this is a time with the ladybug. This is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. Yeah, so like opening yourself up to receive these messages, like this, these um, this transformation and these. Okay, what well, I heard limiting beliefs. So we're transforming, we're transmuting these limiting beliefs for us to receive this abundance. A lot of good things are happening for you and in your life and they're coming towards you. So the ladybug is a very spiritual being. Um, I feel like it takes on a lot of I don't know why I want to say karma or energetic things but I, I feel like somebody said that 
they t they take on a lot of the bad luck and give out the good luck like taking everything on their back transforming it and giving everything so that others don't have to experience the same that's what i heard from somebody it's very interesting like from this perspective but i have a cute story so a ladybug was flying in my garden and I was wondering why it didn't go higher up and I saw it got stuck in a web in a spider web so I went there and set it free and gently I took it and I placed it on my hand and for a few good minutes this ladybug was just going around just like enjoying walking on my hands now and a few times um, they tried to, she tried, they tried, she tried, I don't know. Um, she tried to take its flight, but I guess it wasn't completely ready. So when it was ready, it took its, its flight. And it was very interesting because I was in that moment appreciating that connection to nature and to that creature that was allowing me to hold it you know like fully being in connection with nature with god with the universe whatever you believe in and mountain goat there's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to do to correct it this is just for like a very few like one two people but yes if there's something out of balance in your life uh, you've got the perspective to change it. Definitely. You've got all you need. The inner peace. The resources are coming. It's like you're swimming. With the mermaids. With the dragons. And you're, you're able to face it head on. Okay, so. We got receptivity. Moving towards the light. Source of life. I am creator. Okay, yes, yeah, so this energy of manifestation, of source energy, of source creation, of God energy is inside of you. You connecting to all that. Also angels. Receiving signs from your angels as well. So maybe the unicorn, the ladybug, dragon, or hummingbird. We got the... It's not a deer uh elk no elk um deer i don't know bro <laughs> just like the animals you're connecting to the animals a lot of signs oh we got the lotus flowers as well definitely cleansing so being receptive to receiving this light these gifts like being fully aware of what you can do and moving towards the light damn these are so spiritual okay um what is the source of life on this planet just think for a second source of life air <laughs> the nature so what creates air what allows you to breathe nature trees they're taking in the carbon dioxide and transforming it into oxygen. The thing that you need the most. And if there is anyone just having, you know, a meltdown or complaining or anything, remember, you're able to breathe. <laughs> but that's okay, I'm not like calling you out. Sometimes we're like, oh yeah, I'm breathing and what's the point of breathing? Breathing. Dang. <laughs> What breeding? We're not breeding anything. Just, uh, it sounds... Okay. So you're picking up the coal from the other side. Okay, being in tune with your receptivity, with your intuition. Do you like the ocean? Because it's like um, connecting to the ocean somehow. You could be a star, see? It feels like you are. 
maybe um but definitely you are that source that is cre the creator the source of life something is being offered to you right here and you're offering something to someone as well like you're offering life to somebody okay there's an offering here that so moving toward the a desired future I think I've said everything I'm not gonna milk it anymore but yeah the signs again we have 6 15 um, could be sign those that could be your signs we you can have like the animal and everything and but you're definitely more receptive to this path of life of finding out who God is or what light source is okay but I feel like that's all that I have for you there's nothing else to say just well done I don't know for what but well done for something um, okay so if you like to support me please like comment subscribe it helps the algorithm it helps my channel and I would like to grow a channel that is healthy and, you know, full of people who are appreciated towards themselves and this channel. So let's respect each other. Um, what else? Uh, anything you need to know is in the description. Um, yeah, any information you need is in the description below. Timestamps are there. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon, I guess. Maybe I'll take a break. Who knows? But thanks for being here and bye. Group 3, welcome. This is your pile. And this is your image. Okay, I will lay them out. And we're going to talk, talk about the topic. We're going to connect to the divine hummingbird and see the messages that are coming in for you. Um, yeah. So I heard immediately, um, you're a very gentle soul. And you're really not, you're never alone with this guy right here. You're just surrounded by light, by angels. And I don't know, I feel like crying. There's someone that just feels like crying here and it's just... It could be that your inner child is crying out to you or it's just that you really need to cry. You really need to just feel at home. I know that you're never alone. Okay, the angels are whispering to you. I was supposed to start with the hummingbird cards, but I'm immediately drawn to the angel cards. You connect well to angels or whatever you perceive as angels or as light, as source energy. Whatever form you need to come forward, that form comes forward as angels or fairies or a, a bowl of light. <laughs> but anything you want to see, it comes forward as that. Your wish is my command. Like your desire is a wish fulfilled. But the, for some of you, just for some, there's some sort of inner child healing or work that has been done. And for some of you, for, for others of you, um, you've already done it. So like you've done your time right there. Damn, you, it's like you went to prison or something. <laughs> it's like someone is saying here, Earth is a prison. And I hear that song again. Like, we don't need no education. Hey, teacher, leave these kids alone. Like, like, ex like you escaped from prison. <laughs> But I feel like you have a very healed inner child. I don't know what. Maybe a very few need to do that. 
through meditation or through certain frequencies that help with deep cellular healing or deep heart healing. There is some sort of heart healing here with harmony. We got 7, 28, 12, 22. The, what are the numbers that most resonate with you? I feel like you received that as angel numbers. Could be 222. 111. 333. Um, there's a love here that you want to receive. So you're in harmony with the divine. To receive the whispers. So you've done healing here. And now you're receiving the whispers. It's like, damn, this is freaking me out. This is freaky. Freaky Friday. <laughs> and somebody here needs to take a nap or go to sleep. I need to go to sleep soon as well. <laughs> it's nighttime here. I didn't think I mentioned that. Yeah, it's nighttime. We have some music in the background. I'm sitting on the floor um, on my carpet. I'm just like relaxing and chilling. I've been hustling and grinding. Grind, grinding? Grinding? Really? Hustling. Too much hustle. Probably I'll take a break. <laughs> it's Easter time soon, by the way. Oh, maybe it's a special time because it's Easter time. Maybe you're religious or maybe you still keep those traditions alive where you like celebrate Easter. But it's like you have a new perspective about religion and God and source and energy. It's like you're truly receiving, you're hearing from source, not from anything else. You're, you're connected to that light. It's like I see prayers. I see listening really well to your inner and higher self. Damn. Really connecting to nature, to birds, to children. Again, maybe your inner child. Interesting. Okay, so you're really going with the what was it? Oh, going with the flow. So returning back home. It's not returning back home. It's returning and going with the flow. <sighs> Definitely in flow with nature. Damn, it feels like um, you've done your time. I, I I keep feeling like you've done time in prison. Some of you, or one of you. And now it's like you have your mind focused and you're, you're out here just preparing everything you need to do and doing it. It's like very focused. Okay, but I feel like we got the crystal cave and the ancient oak spirit, strength and trust. So... You're really trusting your abilities, your psychic abilities or powers, your connection to the divine, to God. Is this... Uh, okay. <laughs> but you have a lot of strength right here. And you're able to blend in. Uh, well, not with the world. You're able to blend in with the energy, with the nature, it's like with spirit. You're able to channel that. Are you a channeler? Do you channel? I mean, I said the psychic gifts right here. But uh, there's definitely a channel here. Okay, well, um, let's just get these ones. A gentle touch, like the softness of a feather brushing your skin. Be sweet and kind to yourself and others. Be gentle even if others are harsh to you. You be gentle to yourself. You deserve that. Like other other people are so harsh and like so full of themselves. They think they know everything, but the truth is, this is what I'm seeing, they're bullies. <laughs> they even bully themselves. Isn't that sad? They don't even love themselves, and they come preaching to you. 
what is right or they complain. Okay. Hold on. So you got a mother's love. You're being wrapped in loving wings of comfort and protection. So I, I, I heard you in before that, before all this. Um, your mother loves you. Deep down, she loves you. If there is a mother that, a mother of someone that hasn't told you that they love you, or in this life they're very in the dark. Their higher self says, I love you. So this mother says, from a higher perspective, I love you. Even if she, right now as a human, can say that. It's like having some last comfort. Comfort in your heart so you can heal and move on. So we got a snail right here. And... Um, the hummingbird has like a cute um, nurse hat <laughs> and it's tending to the snail. Even if things went slow, so like um, healing, maybe healing went a lot slower than you thought. And you kind of like did your time, you took your time. It's okay to take your time. Um, you are protected and you're being healed, especially by the divine right there especially by angels they're being healed and you're being taken care of they love you very much wow be sweet and kind to yourself and others that keeps coming to me and you have the dragonflies in it as well wow and, and then we have synergy okay so we got hold on I'm not sure if you can clearly see that, but I only have like a light shining on here. So, your heart and your dreams blossom through fulfilling symbiotic partnerships. So maybe there's a light shining on things and it's like clearing the path for you, like showing you which people to go for, which people to connect with. It's like a soul family I'm seeing here. I see blue. Purple, green, could be the chakras, yellow. Um, but your transformation, for some of you, your, your transformation needs to be gentle. And it's okay that it's slow and gentle. That's what you're preparing for. A comeback. Okay, wow, that's really cool. So you got freedom, breaking the chains, yeah. So breaking the chains of the past, breaking um, the c curses, <laughs> the um, ancestor line, just breaking toxicity, healing the family, healing friendships, healing people, just like breaking all those chains that keeps holding this planet back. But you already done your work and you've already done more than enough for everybody so just like chill <laughs> go out and chill it's okay it's okay to chill something went very fast by like something went very fast by like a car a home is being prepared so like um could be your inner home as well but an, a home like a physical home is being prepared for you like being a lot of things are being delivered to you right now okay a lot of codes and energetic um codes and feelings and emotions like what is this new thing what is being whispered to me okay yeah you're in complete harmony yeah i'm actually shuffling because i don't know why they're telling me to like pull more cards with this so fly with faith 
Trust your sturdy wings and know that the universe is working its magic on your behalf. There you go. That's your sign. That's your confirmation. Um, the universe has got your back. Trust yourself in your work and what you've done. It's time for a show. Some sort of show. Like a play, a show. Singing somewhere. It's like a gig. You're preparing for something to fulfill your dream. Like on a stage. Singing. Poetry. Something like being in front of a crowd. Like being able to fully immerse yourself in that and just like express yourself like you've been inspired by whatever creativity you choose to go with you've been inspired by your life by what you went through by your healing by your connection to the divine to the spirit it's like you're composing like the divine like the angels the divine are your muse and they're whispering to you like could be even hits for a song it's for music. Oh, music is coming up again. In Pile 2, music came up too, I think. Was it Pile 2? I think it was. Um, <laughs> but... I don't know why. This, this healing meditation I'm listening to just caught my attention. It's like a portal in the background. It's like, when you meditate, what, what do you visualize? Do you visualize or do you like stay still? Like, does your mind stay still? But there's a portal, there, there's some sort of download happening. And through this portal, it's like... There's something so huge going on. And it's like... We, we feel it, we know it, but like, we can't really explain it or put our fingers on it. It's like... There's no explanation for it. Okay, so octopus, platypus, chameleon, tiger. We are practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. Don't change yourself for others, man. Like you deserve better than that than to having to change yourself for others to accept you. Platypus, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. <laughs> Hi. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> you heard the message. Uh, it's not me, so, you know, don't blame me. Don't come at me. I'm just delivering the messages. And it's a group reading, so, you know what? Whoever doesn't like it can, can move on. Like, I'm very honest. As, as gentle and diplomatic as I try to be, just know that, uh, like you, I'm doing my best to deliver these messages, and I won't stand for any type of bullying or disrespect going on on this channel. And you're probably like, why are you talking about that? Oh, because you don't know about it, but like, just know I'm protecting you <laughs> from people like that. Okay? I'm the one that carries on their back. All the things you don't see. It's it's a blessing when somebody can take on <sighs> things for other people. But I feel like if you're taking on things that you don't really have to. You've taken a, a, a lot of, on your back. So like, what was I saying uh, about myself like sharing this? I feel like it relates to you, so uh, do you have a uh, back pain, neck pain, sciatica, sciatic nerve pain, um, so everything that you take on, if you take too much on, if you burn out, it um, kind of transmutes into the physical and it turns into physical pain, like in bodily pain, right? But if you let the angels heal you, so like with music or just meditation. <sighs> okay, so creating the synergy with spirit. Creating the synergy. 
um, like becoming one, right? With the source of cha chameleon, stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. So we got to realize that we don't really control things. There's, yes, we do have the power to co-create, to create, to bring our reality into this physical reality. But there is something behind this and it's called the universe and a higher power, a higher source that does contribute to our life. And it knows best. Mama knows best. Like, what was it? Mama's love. Mama knows best. There's this feminine energy. It doesn't mean it's a female, but feminine energy. Um, like the love, the care, the gentleness, like um, being there for them. The universe is on your side and the universe can be there for you, right? And the tiger, you're being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. So I, I'm hearing a job. It's like you're afraid to go for the title. Like you're afraid to go um, for this leadership role. Don't be afraid. I guess it's just like for nine persons. I don't know. That's very specific. <laughs> That's very specific who that is for. But yo, you've been through a lot. You've healed a lot. You like turned your life around. And you're going with the flow, like you're being this chameleon, like adapting to your environments, like not changing yourself for people anymore. And it's very powerful, like accepting love, co-creating, being in the synergy of love as well. Like that sounds strange, right? Hmm. Should I pull more cards for you? I don't know. You're very loved. They love you very much. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Oh, they, okay. There we go. Is that visible? So we got Ruby Throat. Speak right, create. The world needs to hear your song. Yes, the world needs to hear you. And your creation. Definitely with music, man. But I feel like Pile 2, if you're into music and everything, I feel like Pile 2 might be for you as well. Yeah, but all these messages, they're for different people. Things can resonate or not resonate. Um, but yeah. I feel like that's it. Just share your songs if you have music going on. Like... Share yourself, share your po poetry, share your um, plays, your uh, scripts, your, um, okay, movies as well. <sighs> one last one. Keen vision, and I also heard keep your vision. As you sharpen your focus, the course ahead becomes clear. Yes. As you focus... On the things you really want and like you know flowing with it and listening to the whispers of the angels damn listening to yourself too <laughs> look law of attraction uh turn toward the beauty love and sweet joy you desire was it blurry I don't know why I keep pulling cards. Why do I keep going? It's like you keep going in this pile and I have to like, I feel like I have to keep going. But law, law of attraction is your side as long as you keep the vision. If you want like a type of affirmation, here's one. Um, I am in alignment with the momentum of my desires. I am in alignment with the speed of my manifestations. I am in alignment with all my desires and I am in a state of well-being. Everything comes to me easily. And you let it go and it comes to you. <laughs> it's very easy. Alright, so these are the messages. I'm done. Um, 
I don't know, have a great day, have a good night. Uh, I'm going to sleep, so um, thanks for watching. If you like to support, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, help, it helps the algorithm and the growth of the channel. Um, I'll come back with more videos. I'll create more, I guess, but maybe I'll take a break, like I said. I think I said before. Who knows? You know, just uh, any type of information is in the description below. Uh, the timestamps and everything. Yeah, thanks for watching, for supporting, and I'll see you in a while. Thanks. Bye.